Hey, fight fans, it's Ted Check. That was definitely an early stoppage. Um, you know, we all like to second guess, uh, you know, Monday morning quarterback, if you will, these fights. But, uh, and, it, and it, believe me, I would not want to be a referee in mixed martial arts. But uh, that was, uh, as far as I could tell, an early stoppage last night in the main event between Jared Cannonier and Nasruddin Imamov at uh, UFC Louisville. It's an early stoppage. Now, I, I can't show you uh, clips of the fight. You're going to have to you know, find that on your own. But I watched it last night. I watched it again this morning. I watched it in slow-mo. We get to the fourth round, okay? And it's been, it's been relatively, a relatively back-and-forth battle between these two guys. Uh, as far as the striking is concerned, the thing that I didn't like is the, was the wall and stall, if you will. Okay, they, they would lock up against the cage and not really do much of anything. And that's where I think the referee needs to step in and, and separate. And it seems like refs are hesitant to do that. Uh, hesitant to do it on the feet, hesitant to do it on the ground. And you know, that that's where, uh, that's when the crowd starts to get antsy. Um, people at home or wherever they're watching it, you know, start to come on, come on, let's go. Let's get some action here, okay? Let's get some action. This is MMA. This is supposed to be the most ex exciting sport in the world. Let's get some action going. And, uh, you know, so so that's a little frustrating. But that aside, it, it was relatively even, I would say, uh, that fight. I mean, you know, Imamov probably was, was uh, his striking was a little bit better. He was landing more than Cannoneer. But Cannoneer was hanging in there, okay? So we get to the fourth round. And, yeah, Imamov lands, uh, he lands a punch. I was I believe it was a right hand to kind of to the back, to, kind of to the, to the temple and, and going back this way. That really sends Cannoneer reeling. Okay, fine. And and then yeah, at one point Cannoneer kind of turns and runs, but then he he flips back around. He, he was just trying to uh, uh, get a little space going there. Um, sorry, my phone just went. Uh, so he's trying to get a little space there, and then he turned and he faced Imamov again. And, you know, there's another, another flurry of punches, but he was defending himself. He had his hands up when Jason Herzog did this, okay? That is intelligently defending yourself as far as I can tell, as far as I know. Um, you know, and I'm just a fan that's been a fan for a long time. But that's my understanding is that you have to be intelligently defending yourself. And uh, he was doing that. Cannonier was doing that. So that's unfortunate. Uh, because that was an early stoppage, and it would have been interesting to see. They probably would have gone the full five rounds. Probably would have gone the full five, and um, you know we would have seen more, uh, hopefully more, uh, more excitement there. You know we would, would have seen more of the back and forth battle, and that would have been great. Um, so that, yeah, that's that's terrible. Um, and then there's nothing you can do about it. You know what I mean? E even if e even the announcers, uh, the announcing crew agreed. But there's nothing that anybody can do about that. I, I don't. Those decisions are rarely reversed. Um, but let's take a look back. Uh, Cannoneer, interesting. Uh, Forty years old. Forty years old, and he has moved around a bit. He is. Uh, he started as a heavyweight, believe it or not. The guy's only five eleven, which is, you know, uh, I'm about that that height. I don't consider it short. But in MMA, especially in the middleweight division, that's kind of short. Uh, but anyway, he started off as a heavyweight, believe it or not, went to light heavyweight, and now he's at middleweight. And he even looks small at middleweight. The guy could probably, at 5'11", if he was able to, I don't, I don't know with his body structure, but, uh, geez, you you could have a 5'11", lightweight, you know, a 155'er. Uh, but anyway, the guy has, uh, he's been in the UFC a long time, when you look at it. He's, he's made a career of it. You know, he, he first got in what, in 2015, so we're talking about nine years, and, um, you know, won some, lost some, you know, a loss, two wins, a loss, a win, two losses, three wins, you know, and, and you can, you can do that, uh, in the UFC, you can have your losses, as long as you have more wins and losses, you know what I mean, it's when you start getting two, three losses in a row, um, well, like, you had two here, but, you know, three, and that, and that means you're, you're probably on, uh, on very, very, very thin ice, as Bobby Flay would say. Um, but, I mean, he's had fight of the night, performance of the night, performance of the night. He's had 
three performance of the nights, one fight of the night, and then he even fought for the title against uh, Adesanya and lost by decision. I mean, but look, he he uh, he beat Sean Strickland by decision. Okay, that I think that you know maybe one factor is he got into it late. He didn't get into it until he was 27 years old. So that that's tough. Um, but then you look at uh, Nasruddin Imamov. He's only 29 right now. And, uh, you know, so he got into it when he was 21. And let's say, and so far, his, his record is far better. Although you could, you could argue that he hasn't faced the same level of competition as, uh, as Cannoneer. And, oh, look at this. A loss to Sean Strickland by decision. Um, yeah. So, uh, but, but, you know, this, this should vault Imamov up in the rankings. Because Cannoneer was, uh, was number four in the rankings, and uh, Imamov was number seven. So does that mean that, th that uh, does that mean that Imamov jumps all the way up above Cannoneer, or takes his place at number four? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, that's one thing I, I don't, uh, haven't been able to figure out is the, the whole ranking system. It seems really arbitrary. Um, and then the UFC will just pick whoever to fight you know they don't they don't go they don't follow the rankings to the letter but it'll be interesting to see where this win because it wasn't when you look at it on paper oh tko that's a convincing win so you could argue just by looking at it on paper well then then he should he should at the very least take cannoneer's place at number four in the middleweight rankings anyway there you go uh yeah sucks uh you know that that early stoppage really sucked but uh let me know your thoughts what did you think of the stoppage? Do you think it was legitimate? Um, let me know. Talk to you later.